Don't forget to check out the merch shop, link is in the description below. Hey guys, it's TrickShot726 back once again, and today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 Build-A-Figures or Deluxe figures that I would like to see in 2021. So I just released the top 10 figures of 2021 video uh, not too long ago, and uh, there were actually more figures that I wanted to talk about, but these ones were ones that I think would work better as Build-A-Figures or Deluxe figures, um, like the Modoc figure that they're releasing later next year that I'm excited for. So that is why these figures were not on that original list, but I want them just as badly as the other ones because I am addicted to toys at this point, I think. Um, I don't know if there's any getting around that, but these are going to be the top 10 build of figures I would like to see in 2021. Coming in at number 10, we're going to start with Lockjaw from the Inhumans. I think this would be a unique build of figure for them to do, and they could definitely do his size justice because this is a big pupper right here. Uh, also, based off of how they did the uh, Panther in the, what was it, the Dungeons and Dragons 2-pack from, like, Comic-Con this year, I think they definitely have the skill to do it well. I know that was, like, a different team. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the same team that works on Marvel Legends, but I I know Hasbro can do it in general. Um if they can share notes or something like that but they could definitely do a good lockjaw figure and make it so he's articulated he can move around um and pose and it isn't just like a statue i think that's the biggest issue we've seen with any of the other 112 lockjaws is they're basically statues they can't move that much um he's a dog i'm not asking him for to be able to do flips or anything like that but i would like to be able to pose him in a couple of different poses besides just standing there so i think Lockjaw could be a really interesting build to figure. I think it'd be different. Allow them to work on the Inhumans team a little bit more. We haven't seen anyone since Black Bolt or Medusa. That is going to be my number 10 pick for the build figures. Number 9, I'm going to come in with a bit of a oddball right now. I'm going to say Griffin. Um, that is kind of an obscure Marvel villain. Um, you probably never heard of him. <laughs> um, but it's a giant lion dude with wings. Um, very unique looking. I don't know if he'd be the most popular build a figure, but I think having more unique villains is always a good idea for us instead of just getting um, Apocalypse for the 12th time or the Juggernaut for the 12th time. Uh, so I think adding more unique villains to a shelf is always a good idea, and I think Griffin would definitely be a unique looking one and uh, an odd choice. So I think he would work well as a build a figure. Number eight, I'm going to be staying with the weird theme right now. I'm going to say Technovore. Um, Technovore is an Iron Man villain um, who is like a computer virus come to life that likes to eat everything. He's had a couple of different looks in different shows and comics, and he's never looked consistent. I think uh, a human took over his name in more recent comments comics but that is not the version i am talking about i'm talking about the actual like computer virus monster um i think it'd be a cool unique uh build a figure for them to make especially if they do like another iron man wave uh, which we haven't seen in a while i know we have a lot of iron men but we don't have a lot of iron men villains um so i think technovore would definitely be a very cool build a figure for us to see um and we could get a unique look for it so that is why he's number eight on my list Number seven on my list has been on a couple of other people's uh, Build-A-Figure lists as well. It is going to be Mr. Hyde, um, and he is a giant muscle dude who likes to punch everything. He's fought a ton of people. He's fought Captain America. He fought the Young Avengers. I think he fights Spider-Man and Daredevil pretty regularly as well. He fights the Avengers. But he's big, he's strong, and he's ugly. Uh, <laughs> But I think it'd be a pretty cool build a figure. I think they could retool pieces from a couple of the different big build a figures they've done recently. Um, they could use parts from Kingpin or the new Joe Fixit build a figure that just came out um, and just add more tattered clothes to it. They could potentially use stuff from the uh, Hulk that came out, the 80th anniversary Hulk that came out not too long ago as well. I don't know. They have options. They could make a whole new sculpt that would be nice as well. I want this big dude on my shelf, is the bottom line. So that is why he is number seven on my list. Moving right along to number six, I would like to see the Super Adaptoid in figure form. Now this could be the Gamerverse version from the Avengers video game that's currently out. It could be the comic version. 
any number of those would work. But I think it is a uh, cool villain. I wouldn't say unique because he just copies the Avengers powers. But it'd be a cool villain to see on the shelf. And they, they could use a ton of reuse with the Captain America shield, uh, Thor's hammer, that kind of thing. Um, and I think it'd be they could use a bunch of different um, alternate arms like they did for the Super Scroll wave or for the Absorbing Man wave to make him more unique and give him a lot more posing options with a um, Captain America arm or Iron Man arm, Hulk arm, whatever. So I think that would be a very fun villain for them to do, and I don't think it'd be difficult for them at all either. I think it'd be pretty fun for everyone to have as well, so that is why Super Adaptoid is number six on my list. Moving on to number five, I would like to see a new comic giant man goliath whatever figure as the build a figure for a wave um actually you know what let's throw stature in there too i know she was on my other list but she can be on this list as well uh i just want another big pin boy on my list that's what we're gonna call it so i know we have the toy biz one that's massive um and i don't think hasbro is going to be able to beat that one in size with the way they've currently been doing build a figures um unless they're doing like a has uh, was it HasLab um, figure for that? And I don't know if I'd be willing to pay three hundred and fifty dollars for Giant Man, but I would like to pay maybe eighty and get a bunch of other figures and get this as a build a figure. <laughs> um, but I know we've gotten the MCU Giant Man a couple of times, and he's decent sized. Uh, I'd like to just see another um, comic version of Giant Man Goliath or whatever his other names are, because he's had a thousand of them. Uh, I think it would be definitely cool to see another one of them has would take their stab at it so we could get him on the shelf as well. I think doing that giant man figure would also open the door a lot for them to do uh, Atlas or any of the other giant man figures that I just mentioned as deluxe figures or so-and-so place exclusives um, down the line. So I think there's definitely potential for them to reuse it and it's not just a one-off uh, and i know that's a big thing for hasbro <laughs> but uh it's definitely something that they haven't done yet and definitely something they should do so that is why he is number five on my list coming in at number four is going to be armor from the x-men now this would be a really interesting one to see how they would do it um armor is basically a little girl who has a mutant power where she makes a giant psychic armor around herself um she's appeared on a couple of tv shows as well um i think like wolverine and the x-men and she took, took out the juggernaut immediately which was really cool um i think that was my first exposure to her but i think this would definitely be a cool figure for them to do um i don't know if they'd want to make it where she's one of the characters in the wave in just her x-men outfit or in street clothes or something and then you can put her inside the armor but i definitely think if it was more of like a translucent plastic or something like that even if it's just painted on the inside so it looks like there's somebody in there that could be cool but she's been a her armor's been a bunch of different sizes before so it's not necessarily she doesn't need to be as tall as a building or anything like that but i definitely think she should be on the larger sides um like closer to like the mcu hulkbuster build a figure size if they can and i think that'd be a lot of fun it'd be really cool unique and i know they've been doing a ton of x-men lately so it makes sense fit with any of those figures they've been doing but i think armor would be an amazing build a figure to get all right moving on to number three i would like to see um a comic version of the executioner from the thor comics uh we have not gotten him is a comic character yet and he's a pretty big boy i know we got the uh movie version uh played by carl urban with like the hella two pack not too long ago and that's a great figure but he's kind of small um to fit as a comic figure at least and we've got the enchantress already i think it'd be it's important to have him with her because he follows her everywhere he goes because he's a synth and i don't know he he's really big i think we could use something like the sandman or absorbing man build a figure body um with some retooling to put some armor on him but around that size is what i'd like to see him as uh he's big he's strong uh, he's another Asgardian, and I think that's definitely something we need more of. So that is why he's number three on my list. Number two is going to be a comic version of Ronan the Accuser. Um, I know we had gotten one version of him back in the Dark Ages of Hasbro, um, and I definitely think we need to revisit that. Again, we've gotten like an MCU version, and that is great. 
but it doesn't really work as a comic version because he looks very different than he does in the comics. Um, so I would like to see him. I think he'd be a, better off as a builder figure because he's usually a bigger boy. Um, and again, I think we could use something like the Sandman or Absorbing Man body as like a base for him um, and then working off of it from that. Uh, although I think I would prefer to have him on a new body, a new sculpt that they could do for him. Um, but I think it's definitely something that would be unique for them to do and something that's kind of overdue, um, especially if we're going to be pushing more into the cosmic figures. I know they said that's specifically for the Walgreens exclusives, but I think we can bleed that over and get some more uh, cosmic cosmic figures in the main waves as well. So that is why I think Ronin would be a great build a figure. All right, and moving on to my number one pick, it would be Annihilus from the Negative Zone. Uh, now, this is another figure we got once in the Dark Ages of Hasbro. I never got that one, unfortunately, because I thought it looked kind of weird, but I definitely think the way Hasbro has been doing things now, they could make an amazing uh, Nihilus figure that would stand out on your shelf. Um, he's also a typically a Fantastic Four villain, and I think uh, we need more of those to go with the new Fantastic Four figures that we've gotten in the past couple years. Ronan fits that bill as well, but I think Annihilus is going to be that classic Fantastic Four villain that would fit on our shelves. I think he's been on a lot of people's lists as well, so hopefully they'll be making him soon, but he is my number one pick. Uh, that is the figure I'd most like to see as a build figure or deluxe figure in 2021. So that is going to be my list of the build figures or deluxe figures as they've been doing them more often now uh, for 2021. I don't know the likelihood of any of these being made in 2021. I just know that I would like these ones. So what are your most wanted baths or deluxe figures for the next years? Uh, let me know in the comment section below so we can talk about it. And I am going to be getting up out of here so I can go back and animate some new projects for you guys. But I will see you guys later. Bye!